Damn you, Walter Grift. Sherlock. Watson, do you believe in curtains? What? If I was to dance like a miniature cat, would you kill me or give me a sandwich made of Sweden? What are you doing? It's a client. I'm touching her face to see if she's credible. Let's blog about this. Yeah. Oi. Sorry. That, uh, I can't get it away. Stuck. I think you need to reboot. Rebooting is for cheesecakes. Can you touch her face for a while? I need to clear my head. This head. Sherlock, can I speak? Speak like the woman you're touching. There's been a murder. Murder, she wrote, and published it in a local magazine. Later became a novel, then a film, then a TV series. But the series got bad reviews. Why is that, Watson? I don't know. Knowing is what to look for and when to jump. Good girl. Do it. 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 Do it like I do. Like you do. Like you do, but like I do. Like you do. Do 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 do. Ah, murder by death, always peculiar. You see anything interesting? Good question, tiny man. You're extremely short and well mannered. The length of your body makes me feel sad in a way I don't quite want to understand. Thank you. Small shoes indicating small feet. Wrinkle on the eye proves he's been eating soup for decades. Dust on the nose. Blue shirt with a hint of tie. Thick fingers that suggest he's never touched a synthesizer. Hair that remind me of Christmas. So what do you think? Your interruption makes me happy. What are we looking at here? Well, it's obvious. What? He's gay. We're looking at a ham rider. <sighs> Case closed. Let's go home and watch Dr. Phil, or as I like to call him, Dr. Phil. Excuse me. You haven't solved the case. Solving cases is for babies. I conclude if people are gay or not, that's how I roll. Do you concur? No. Then you are a bad cookie. Goodbye, Melonhead. Sorry. You're gay as well. And you. Stop. Let's do a jumping kiss. 